Hi, Maria. Hi, Susan. It's so good to see you. I'm trying to remember when the last time I saw you was. Oh, I don't know. But every time I suggest meeting, you have some excuse. Are you trying to avoid me? You know I always look forward to meeting you. I had been meaning to pay you a visit, but I just couldn't find the time. I love spending time with you. You're my best friend. But I've been very busy with my job. I want to get promoted and earn more, but promotions take a lot of work. Imagine having to get up at 5 a.m. every day and going to sleep at midnight. I aspire to be a CEO in the next five years, and I'll work towards making my dream a reality. If you continue to work so hard, you risk getting sick. I need to raise money to buy a bigger apartment and a new car. I have lots of plans and dreams that I need to achieve. You always need to raise money for something. And you neglect to live life to the fullest. You never get to spend enough time with the people you love. And time passes by. That's true. I don't get to see my family as often as I'd like. I miss living with my parents. I remember sleeping in and waking up to a home-cooked breakfast. I miss seeing my parents out in the garden every day looking after their vegetable plants. I also miss joking around with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I plan to visit them next month. I've been so busy lately that I struggle to stay in touch with them. That sounds tough. Try to slow your life down and even find a hobby. I prefer to focus on my career now and on my goals. I'll have plenty of time for hobbies later. Don't take time for granted. When was the last time you went on vacation? I don't even remember. Unfortunately, I can't afford to go on vacation anytime soon. That would mean saying goodbye to any chance of promotion. You are working too much. You should stop to enjoy life, too. Just imagine lying on the beach, away from all the clouds and rain. I've got my whole life ahead of me. Stop worrying about me. In life, you need to make sacrifices to achieve your goals. I regret to say that sacrificing your personal life is a pretty big price to pay. You forget to leave time for yourself and the things that make you happy. It's important to have goals, but don't stop living life while chasing them. You can wake up one day and feel that you have never truly lived. What about you? Do you manage to find time for hobbies and family? I strive to find time for everything that matters in life, like reading, traveling, family, and friends. <laughs> I want to make as many happy memories as possible. I also started to spin recently to stay in shape. You mean spinning on an indoor bicycle? Exactly. It's really great that you started exercising. I also started working as a volunteer at a soup kitchen. Volunteer? How come? I realized that giving brings far more happiness than getting. So I've decided to volunteer to brighten other people's lives. That's very kind of you. I like working there. I enjoy meeting new people and talking to them. Helping those people makes me so happy. I really admire you for that. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. I want to make the most of my life so that when I look back, I can be satisfied with it. I don't want one day to regret wasting my life on unimportant things. You can try volunteering at the soup kitchen too once in a while. Well, I like to help people, but I dislike cooking. You don't actually have to cook soup. You can volunteer to serve. 
Why do you dislike cooking anyway? I can never get the recipe right. It's always too salty, too sour, or too sweet. I'll never forget making a fool of myself when I cooked dinner for some friends. It was so horrible that they couldn't eat it. That's why I hate to cook. I prefer eating out. <laughs> so you stopped cooking because it didn't taste good? Yes, but I still love to eat the food that other people cook. <laughs> <laughs> I cherish our friendship and our time together. I like chatting with you. I promise to do my best to find time for my personal life, too. I won't let work take up all my time from now on. I'm glad to hear that. Keep working hard, but also remember to relax, have fun, and live life along the way. Some verbs have different meanings when they are followed by a gerund or an infinitive. You should stop to enjoy life too. Stop worrying about me. You forget to leave time for yourself. I'll never forget making a fool of myself when I cooked dinner for some friends. Remember to relax, have fun, and live life along the way. I remember sleeping in and waking up to a home cooked breakfast. I regret to say that sacrificing your personal life is a pretty big price to pay. I don't want to regret wasting my life on unimportant things. I had been meaning to pay you a visit. That would mean saying goodbye to any chance of promotion. Try to slow your life down and even find a hobby. You can try volunteering at the soup kitchen too. Here are some verbs that don't change their meaning very much when they are followed by a gerund or an infinitive. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.